guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a giveaway. First of all, thank you so much for being patient with me. I think on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and in previous videos, I keep mentioning this giveaway, and then I keep putting it off, but at the same time, I keep adding things into it. So if anything, as more time has gone by, I feel like the giveaway has just gotten better and better. One thing I did want to quickly mention, just because I know some people can be weird about these things, some of the items are PR, some of the items I purchased myself. So for whatever reason, if you're not comfortable accepting PR products, then this giveaway is not going to be for you, but as always, like with all of my products in a giveaway, all the products are brand new, untouched. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you some info on the giveaway and then show you all the prizes. It might be a wee bit long because there's a shiz ton of stuff. Also, if you guys aren't following me on my other social media platforms, I might be doing one on Twitter as well. I'm not quite sure yet, but there's definitely one going on on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me there, I will have all my handles listed down below. Now, just from a past experience, it seems like the best way to do these giveaways and pick a winner like the most fair way is to use a little like giveaway widget. I use, I think, Gleemio, something like that. That will be listed down below. So really the only mandatory thing that you have to do to enter the giveaway is be a subscriber. Everything else is optional and that just kind of gains you extra entries into the whole raffle thing. Then basically that thing picks the winner for me. So I just feel like it's more fair that way. There, that way there's nothing to do with like deleting or YouTube like deleting spammed comments or anything like that. Basically, Gleemio just seems like the easiest way to do it, so that's the way I'm gonna be doing it. So yeah, like I said, the only mandatory thing that be a subscriber, so for everyone who is already subscribed, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Now, let's get into the prizes because I think that's the part that most of us are curious about. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna grab some things off the top of the bag first before I even try lifting it because it is jam packed. Also, at first I was gonna like separate all by brand, but there's honestly so much in there, so I thought it'd be easier just to grab things one by one. So first up from Pop Beauty, we have the Makeup Magnet Mist. This is just an energizing and hydrating setting spray. Then we have this adorable little bundle. This is actually a holiday set from Tarte. Inside you have two of their little gel liners as well as, I don't know if that's a dual ended, no. Um, so you have black and then bronze. These are the clay paint liners, they're super cute. Next up from Derma E, we have the Hydrating Night Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm actually using this in my routine right now because I just finished up my Iope Night Cream. I honestly haven't tried too, too much from Derma E, but I've heard good things. So I mean, you can kind of test it out together. This is a product that didn't come in the packaging just because I did received this as PR, but it is completely untouched. The only thing that I did want to let you guys know though, it was attached to an easy bake oven. So there's some sticky strips back here. I may try to get it off with alcohol, but I don't want to ruin the stick or anything. So that's the only thing. If you do end up winning this, please know that I'm not like busting up your products. It just came like that in the PR package, but this is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette from Tarte. Packaging is super cute, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like, oh, should I keep it? But no, I've had it forever and I haven't used it yet, so I thought one of you guys could definitely put it to use. It just has this cute coral little packaging. Inside you have a full-size mirror and then just these gorgeous like neutral shades. The next prize is probably one that I was the most excited about in this entire bag. This is the Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. I love this palette. In fact, I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. Everything on my eyes is Laura Lee or the Laura Lee palette, except for on my lid. That black like glittery goodness you see is the Stila, what are they called? Glitter and Glow something. It has a long name. I did an entire video on it. I'll go ahead and annotate it right here. But it's the shade Molten Midnight. So, so pretty. So you will be getting the Violet Voss and Laura Lee palette. So this entire bag is full of stuff. I told you guys, there's a lot. Okay, from e.l.f. we have some skincare. This is the exfoliating scrub with vitamin E and purified water. Then I also have another product from e.l.f. This is from the e.l.f. Studio line. It's just the Eye Refresh. I have something similar to this, but I think it's from the brand Fresh or First Aid Beauty. I love putting these things in the fridge because then it's just like an extra boost of like, oh, under your eyes. Feels so, so good. I have several ColourPop items in here because you guys know, I love me some ColourPop. So there are two of the ultra matte lips. We have one in the shade Naughty, which looks like this. It's just a really pretty pale, kind of peachy nude. And then we have the shade Instigator. I think that's another nude. I'm not gonna open all these things because it's gonna take too long. How cute is this? It's a little set of minis. This is the Good Times Mini Ultra Matte Lip Collection. Inside you have Times Square Solo, which is one of my favorites. Bad Habit, I think I actually have a full size of Bad Habit in here for you guys. Creeper, which is like the perfect deep, like true blue based red, and then Avenue. I love these minis, these are so good. Okay, another product from ColourPop. This is the Weekend Warrior Amanda Steele collab with ColourPop. If you've never seen it before, this was actually the first set of press shadows they released. Packaging's really pretty, it's this cute, this bag, it's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, I'm just gonna angle it. 
but these are all cooler tone shades. I don't really wear that many of those kinds of colors, but I know lots of other people do, so I thought that would be a good little addition into this giveaway. I actually have another eyeshadow palette in here, although I'm not going to lie, a majority of the products in here are lip products. There's like a ton of lip stuff, but if you're like me, then you should be happy with that because I love lip products. This is the Makeup Forever Palette 9 Artist Shadow, 9 Artist Shadow Palette whatevs. So inside you have these nine gorgeous shades here. I love the quality of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. These palettes I think are actually a better value just because it's really hard to get through one of those full size of the Artist Shadows unless you have like a go-to crease color that you use constantly. But these shadows are super pigmented. They blend really, really nicely. Ooh, another prize that I love in here. In fact, I think I showed it in maybe like a PR haul during the holidays and I told you guys right away that I was going to add it to a giveaway. Oh, you guys know I love me some Laura Geller. This is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminating Palette. So inside you have Ballerina Gilded Honey, which I'm pretty sure is like the top seller from Laura Geller, at least highlighting wise, and then Peach Glow. Oh, from the brand Soap and Glory, we have the Hand Food Hand Cream as well as Heal Genius Foot Cream. And then if you're fans of the Hand Food or I guess just the basic Soap and Glory scent, there's also a rollerball in there for you. Moving on, um, this. I have been using this every single day. Spoiler alert, this is going to be in my February favorites. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Isn't that all it's called? Yeah, Blur Stick. They sent over three of these, so I mean, in my mind, that was like basically to do a giveaway with. So I'm giving away one of these on Instagram as well. I love using this on my forehead and right on the sides of my nose where I really have enlarged pores. This thing is gonna last you forever. I've been using this every day for the last two weeks and I feel like I've barely even made a dent in it. It's really, really good. Also, Becca Champagne Pop. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. You guys know Opal is one of my favorites, but I know a lot of people are crazy about Champagne Pop, so I thought that would be a good little option. That did come as PR. That's why it's not in a box, but it's brand new. This is from the Alexis Red and ColourPop collab. They released several of these blotted lip like lipsticks. This one is in the shade Exotic. I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a hot reddish coral color. From Urban Decay, we have the Vice Lipstick in the shade Mega Matte. This is just a true blue-based red. Also from Urban Decay, I have the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. This one is in the shade Spandex, which is like a super deep kind of like blackened navy. There's a ColourPop highlighter. This is in, I don't like how they don't put the shade name on the box. This came in the holiday collection that had like the little record discs in the PR package. This is the shade Fanny Pack. It's just this gorgeous kind of like pearly white color. Um, from Benefit Cosmetics, we have the Their Real Big Sexy Lip Kit. Inside, you get four of these miniature lipsticks. One side kind of works as a lip liner, and then the other is a lipstick. These are really cute. It comes in this little tin. I kept one, but then I was like, why do I need to share the love? Oh, these are the, Ma I'm getting like excited. I forgot some of the things I had in here. These are the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liners. I'm wearing the one Nude Whisper right now. These are just retractable lip liners, but I like these because sometimes retractable lip liners are like overly creamy to wear. I feel like they like smudge and feather. I don't want to say that these are dry, but they're a little bit stiffer for a retractable pencil, which I really like. They don't like snap and break, but they just stay in place. So these are gorgeous colors to kind of like fill in your whole lip or just line them. So a really pretty plummy color called Wild Violets and then kind of a neutral pink called Palest Pink and then the clear which is kind of just like you, you could basically use it with any color. Next from NARS, this is one of their lip glides in the shade at number 54. It's just this gorgeous kind of like corally red shade. I love these. If you're a fan of liquid lipsticks but you can't handle like any dryness on your lips, these are great. It's just a true liquid lipstick. The formula of this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Marc Jacobs ones, the Lamarck Liquids, how it's kind of that like plush gel-like feeling that never fully dries down. I love those. We have several glosses, two of the Lip Injection Glossies. If you like any sort of like kind of stingy, plumpy feeling, you'll love these. So there's Babe Alert and then Let's Flamingle. Also from the Sweet Peach Collection, we have the shade Peach Please. Packaging on this is so cute. That chubby little peach face. I just want to... I love it. Okay, um, I included two sheet masks. These are from Korea. My mom picked me up a ton while she was there. This is from the brand at Nature Republic. So I'm giving you a green tea one as well as a pomegranate one. These are just hydrogel sheet masks, which are hands down my favorite. I definitely prefer those over the cotton sheet masks. Woo! 
stuff sliding everywhere. Okay, from, oh, another Korean product. This is from the brand Laneige. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about some of my favorite Korean skincare. I always mention Iope, Laneige. There's a newer one that I've been using recently. I think Soom 37, but this is like a trial kit. So this is the basic and new water bank the basic and new water bank refreshing kit. Inside you get five products. They're all kind of like good deluxe travel size. So there's the balancing emulsion, there's an essence, what else is in here? Um, a power essential skin refiner, and then I think you get an eye cream and a face cream, yeah. So these are perfect to travel with, plus the colors are so cute. Sticking with skincare, I have a mini of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I love this. I keep this in the shower and I really only use this one about once a week just because it is kind of strong for my skin. I've been using the Dermalogica Surfacing Skin Cleanser. That's the one that I use daily, but whenever I really want to get in and get like the gunk out, once a week I'll use that just because it is a little bit strong. I have a whole set of the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. There's a really pretty array of colors in there. I really like these two deep shades down here. Kind of like a moussey liquid lipstick that's gonna fall down ooh I love these minis from Tarte a lot of you guys are always asking what those are in that little jar that whole jar is just full of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes those are hands down at some of my favorite blushes those and regular blushes are everything so this was a holiday set inside you have the shade vibrant genius pop and royal then you get this brush here I don't like this for blush but this brush makes the best brush for highlighters just because it's like really pretty and like wispy and light and you just get that really nice nice like kind of airbrush effect with your highlighter so this I had to include also from Tarte you're going to get a set of four of these minis these are the Tartiste Tartist lip paints that was from the holidays as well another set from Maybelline these are the Maybelline baby lips color crayon bombs so all of those are still in the packaging from Too Faced you're going to be getting three of the sketch markers so there's the shade papaya peach smoky emerald and sky blue these are just liquid eyeliners then from pop beauty I think I've given away one of these like in every single giveaway because anytime they send a package they always send me one of these and this is actually my favorite color from the line this is the pop beauty permanent pout in the shade razzle rose if you're into those like signature dusty mauve like basically any type of mauve or dusty rose color something similar to this you're gonna love this color I have several mascaras in here for you where's the other one I know there's another Tarte one okay so you're getting a Tarte mascara the Too Faced better than sex mascara I wish this worked for me because they send me one like every other week I know so many people love it and swear by it but it just doesn't work on my stubby lashes and then finally the Stila huge extreme lash mascara basically you should be set with mascara for like the next year or so then max and over this their new what are these called retro matte liquid lip colors if you guys watch my declutter videos you know I have an insane amount of lip products so I thought why not share the love none of these have been swatched or touched or anything but since it came in a PR package they aren't in the package but they are brand new so we have the shades uniformly fabulous Choco Tees, which this one I really wanted to keep, but I was like, no, Dana, you got plenty. And then finally, the shade whoop, Burnt Spice, which is that really pretty pale nude. I love the packaging, though. The top of it just looks like the classic like lipstick packaging, which is so cute and round. There's the ColourPop blush, or no, I think this is a highlighter, in the shade Strapped, which is just this really cute kind of like dusty panky type of highlighter then we have the ColourPop shadow this was also in the Amanda Steele collab this video is probably so long already but I mean I wanted to show you the goods this is the shade hydroplane look how pretty this is I have so many blues already though can we focus please look at that the glitter also on my nails I'm wearing the Kathleen lights new KL polish in the shade das suspensive it's so pretty that was only two coats and it's that opaque if you want a better picture go check it out on my Instagram um, from Too Faced how cute the little peach this is the Papa don't peach peach infused blush I'm not gonna lie this is kind of hard for me to let go but I don't think the two shades are the same that come in the peach palette and this but look at the packaging like Oh, so cute, but I have so many blushes. So one of you guys are going to be winning that. In fact, I have a blush declutter coming up very, very soon. I have a Benefit Their Real push-up liner, the NARS lip gloss in the shade Turkish Delight. Do you remember when like Kim Kardashian wore this back in the day? I feel like this and NARS Laguna were really the only two products you heard about NARS constantly back in the day. It was because of Kim Kardashian. And then the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Vampy Violet. 
what else we got here? This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. This is perfect if you like the Benefit Highbrow, I think it's called. It's not as opaque as that, but it's a product similar to that. In fact, I actually like the applicator of this more because it comes like at that slant tip, so it just fits perfectly under your brow if you want to carve them out. Um, also from Pop Beauty, there is the Matte Lipstick in the shade Blackberry Burst. I told you all, there was a lot of lip products in here. Oh, I actually have another one of these, just in case deep is too deep for you. I have the shade medium as well. So your brow's gonna be safe. Then from Jouer, they just sent these over, but I have like backups of these already. This is one of my favorite reds from Jouer. This is the, what are they called again? The lip creams, lip creme, lip cream, and brick, and then skinny dip. This gets sold out constantly. This is like the most gorgeous lip topper ever. In the packaging, it looks like something that like, Maybe a grandma would wear like a super frosty lip, but if you apply that like in the center of your lips when you're wearing a new lip, you just get these gorgeous like bodacious, plump, like just juicy lips. It's so pretty, I love it. I have the Fresh Sugar Cream Lip Treatment in the shade Blush, MAC Lipstick in Candy Yum Yum. I have several of the Makeup Forever Acrylics. So they're shade 202, 200, and 500. Oh, I don't have enough fingers. The L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in Fearless Fuchsia. Another MAC, this one is kind of like a fun color if you're into greens. This one is in the shade Young Attitude, the retro matte lip color that I showed you earlier. Another one of the, what are these called? Infallible Paints in the shade Lilac Lust. You guys, this is insane. I need to count how many products there actually is. Um, a J Cat Beauty Flush Metal Metallic Lip. This would look so pretty in the summer. This one is in the shade FM115. Just kidding. Aphrodite Scent. A Color Luster Lip Gloss Duo from Laura Geller. The Thrive Cosmetics Glossy Lip Marks. I love these glosses. They're like so, so shiny, but they don't feel sticky on the lips. They're really pretty. Oh, and then here is the ColourPop Bad Habit in full size. And that is everything. I really hope you guys are excited for this giveaway. I apologize that that took kind of long to go through all the products. But as you can see, there's a crap ton of stuff. So I will have all the rules, fine details listed down below. So if you have any questions, most likely it will be answered down below. The time frame of the giveaway will be down there. The giveaway is international, of course. I'm all about spreading the love to everybody. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you want some more giveaways in the future. Don't forget to check out the one on my Instagram as well. And yeah, that is it. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.